Uh oh, spaghetti -o. What is our project today? Garage door seal. Looks kind of like that. And what? I went to the store and I got some little tiny mouse traps. And yeah, I guess you've already figured out what it's going to be. There's a, uh, a rubber gasket at the bottom of the garage door here. You see it up there? Okay. And it's cut short. See how short it is over there? It's short by, oh, two inches, two and a half inches. And, and the piece has been up there for so long. It's been up there over 20 years. It's all flattened down and it's split and everything else. And let's just, let's just close the garage there. And you'll see why I've got the mouse traps out. Here, I've got some sticky traps in here. Okay, you see that hole right there? Look at that. The little mice's come in right through there. And I had some st sticky traps. And uh, the, guys, the guys who come around here every quarter to spray and stuff, they gave us those and and they generally put them right at, at the corners of garage doors because a lot of times when they open when when uh, you open a garage door you might have a mouse running in or trying to run back out let's say and um, if you got a sticky trap there it thwarts them and you know I, I can't have that that's been sitting there for oh over 20 years we've been in the the house now for a few years. Let's just get this open a little bit and I'm going to show you. We'll just keep it like that. Okay. See how, see how short that is? And you look on this, you look on this other side. See how old and brittle it is? Look at this. See how it's ripped? Look at that. Here, it's it's split right there too. So it, it really needs to be replaced, doesn't it? And, you know, I, I broke down, went to the store, and I thought, I, I should just get a garage door seal. I've never installed these before. That's why I'm making this video too. If an average show like me can do it, so can you. And, and let's take a let's take a quick look at this. This one is from MD and it's called Platinum. And it says this one is extra strength, 20 27% stronger. And it's for a double car. And I only needed 10 feet, but you look at this one. I, I thought I saw I thought I saw a mark somewhere. Yeah, see. Contains 118 with a line that means 18 feet long. It's basically for a double car garage. I don't have a double car garage, I only have a single. I only needed a 10 foot piece, but of course, of course, they don't sell those at the store. They want you to buy the big one. And on that other garage, uh, we have another single car garage. And if I wanted to replace that, without a seam in it, let's say. I've got two other garage doors that are singles. Do I have to buy two more 18 foot long ones and throw three eight foot pieces away? I think I'm gonna, if I ever do those other two, I'll just get one more, cut it at 10 feet, then I'll have an eight foot and an eight foot, and I'll put an eight foot piece and a two foot piece on the other one. I don't, I don't normally think it's a good idea to have a joint in these, but I guess it's okay, you know? And this one, this one was about uh, seven, eight dollars more than a standard one. They had a standard one like this that was about seven dollars less. This one was twenty-seven dollars, I think. And um, but it wasn't twenty-seven percent stronger. And I figured, hey, I might as well put on the stronger one. I could have gotten away with the other one. And the other one looks exactly like this. You just, you just, it's one flat piece, okay? It's, it's one, I'll get it out here in a minute, but it's one flat piece. And then you just, you just kind of roll it, roll it up. And there's two little slots and you pull it on there. That's what it looks like. 
And, and of course, they didn't have the, uh, the light gray one at the store, the medium-sized gray. All they had was black. Uh, I could have went around, I could have drove around to three or four stores, took all day, or took two or three hours and, and uh, $10 worth of gas driving around town to see if I could find a gray one because everything on the outside of the house, you know, it all matches. Luckily, this garage door is off to the side. And when I look at it from the front, see, I don't, there's, no other, there's no other trim uh, that's black except, see here, we've got this black uh, thing here for the downspout, the drain line, and then it goes down in the ground there. Here's a black top there. That's black close enough to that. I think black's going to be fine. I think black's going to be fine, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to show you what else could I have done? Could I have fixed this another way? Yeah, I could have. And I'll show you that here in a second. But I figured since this was split, this really needs to be replaced anyway. Okay, now how else, how, how could I have fixed that if I wanted to be cheap? Or, and, and if it wasn't ripped or anything, I could just patch it. Now here's, here's the other garage door. It's a single car garage. And that thing's been flattened down. It, it hasn't, it hasn't ripped yet. Okay. And this one had a, this one used to have a big gap at the corner. See what I did? Look at that. I could have done something like that. And all that is, is a piece of styrofoam shipping container stuff. And I cut it down to fit and I wrapped it. I, uh, I contoured it, cut it, shaved it, glued it with white caulking. And before that, I wrapped it with, uh, that's just shipping tape. That's shipping tape right there. And then I glued it in there. That's been sitting in there for, oh, I don't know, a couple years now. And I could fix that other one just like that if I wanted. Okay. And that, and that, there was a big gap down in there. And I, and I caulked up a hole here because um, little mice could get up under that and they, they could crawl right in, right through there. So I filled that all up and I put that block in there and, and it fits right in there. And that's another way you could fix it. See, <laughs> we've got the little, We've got the little uh, mouse sticky traps right here. There's nothing in these. I think I've caught one on this side before, but um, they all come over on that other side. Let's go back over to the other side. And um, so I got those little, I got those little mice traps and I, I called Momi first and I asked her, I said, hey, do you want to kill these, these little mice or do you want to, do you want to uh, catch them in a cage? They have these little traps, live traps, and then you catch them and you can let them go. We're talking about maybe possibly letting them go, but it's, it's winter now, and um, you let them in, out, outside somewhere, and where are they going to go? And then eventually, they're just going to come back inside here, you know? And um, see, I caught, I caught one in here before. Uh, see, it, it gets all the... The stuff when it gets windy, it gets all blown in here. You can see all that stuff in here. But see here, you can see the mouse droppings in here. And we had just recently moved this stuff in here, and I need to get it out of the garage. But um, they were coming in here, and then they were going through here. We're eating up. We had some bird food in here, and then and then they even they even climbed up. They even climbed up this. I don't know how are you going to climb that up that? I'm I'm not quite sure. I guess right up through that and see here's little mouse droppings up here here's some more down here and then there's there's some down in there I, see I still have to I still have to clean all that out but I thought hey why should I go through all that hassle if I don't fix this and like I said I could put a little foam piece up there wrap it and glue it up in there but hey for $28, $30, I'm gonna replace the whole thing, like I said, because it's ripped here and stuff. And that's what my project is today. And once I do that, then I can clean out the rest of this stuff over here, set up the little 
mice traps, the little mouse traps. They're little deer mice. They're, they're about, no joke, they're about this long. That's including the tail. They are so tiny, full grown and stuff. I hate, I hate to really kill them. I, I really don't want to do that, but uh, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But see, my theory, my theory is once I get this fixed, do you think the mice are going to be in here anymore? Once I clean this out, if there's any mice in here that need to scamper out and I scare them out, let's say, they're, all, they're always going to come back. Anytime we open up the door, if they're sitting over in here, they can zzz, zip right through there. If, if I don't have a mouse trap down or anything, um, they're going to come back in here. We don't want them in the garage because then maybe they can get up into the house. And I think, I think one little mouse probably was trying to get up in here. See, see how the rubber uh, insulation on the door has been ripped there. And I'm not sure if the little mouse got up there and was trying to rip that off, trying to get inside the house or not. And see, could they get in the house somewhere? You know, there might, there might be a hole up in here. I can, I can feel up underneath there where maybe they can crawl up in there and get underneath the house and then start chewing on on uh, insulation and make nests underneath the house and do all that kind of stuff we don't really want that okay but first things first the garage door seal that's what I'm gonna do next hey if you want to watch that stick around well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos. I never know what I'm going to show next, so you might want to just stick around and see. It might save you some money around the house.